The Circuit of the Americas remains one of my favorite tracks to race at in F124, partially thanks to its excellent layout. There is a huge variety of corner styles at Kota, from fast sequences lifted straight from Suzuka and Silverstone to a much more technical infield segment reminiscent of Mexico or Bahrain. The fastest car setups for Texas lean heavily on high downforce and an incredibly stiff suspension. Our recommended race setup does lean in this direction with a few key adjustments to improve our top speed, consistency and tire wear. Now, some time trial setups may push the front wing right up to 50 or really close to it. However, as we've come to learn when racing offline, the AI is incredibly fast in a straight line. Opting for a front wing of 50 will lead to us being left in the dust along the long straight after turn 11. Instead, I've opted for a front wing error of 41 and rear wing of 35. This is about as high as I could run while still being able to keep up with the AI in a straight line. Understeer can really hurt your lap time at Kota, so setting the rear wing lower will help your car rotate a little bit. With such a variety of corners, deciding on a transmission setup can also be hard. Much like Bahrain, you'll need to compromise between high speed traction and eliminating slow speed wheel spin. I have opted for 65% on throttle differential, combined with 50% off throttle and 70% engine braking. We can run the engine braking slightly higher at 70%, to help our car rotate a little bit better. Now the recommended route for the geometry is to maximize cornering grip, which requires the camber set all the way to the left as per normal. I've also set the front toe to zero to minimize drag, and it isn't really required as we can achieve good rotation responsiveness thanks to other parts of our car setup. I have added rear toe, putting it up to 0.2 to ensure the rear of the car remains stable particularly through the more technical sector of turns 12 to 16. Now I did mention that a stiff suspension is beneficial for Kota, and I have gone this route with a slightly watered down approach to help with tire wear and stability. Set your front suspension to 38 and the rear to eight, then go with ARBs of 16 and 11. This will provide a stiff enough base for the car to respond well to direction change without punishing your tires quite as hard. The much lower rear anti-roll bar will also help reduce any unwanted behavior in the mid to late corner phase. I've then opted for a ride height of 25 and 57. Now, despite its undulations and elevation change, the track surface itself is pretty smooth with a few bumps down that long straight. This medium ride height setup will prevent our car from hitting any part of the track and reducing our top speed. The brake bias setup needs to be a little more forward for Kota there are a few big stops which benefit from a brake bias of 56%, but more importantly, any further rearward would mean we would have to lower our engine braking, which is a less preferable route. Then, as always, opt for a brake pressure of 100%. Now, some parts of this recommended car setup are designed with limiting tire wear in mind, and that is because Kota can wear your tires heavily. So I've kept all tire pressures to their maximum to prevent too much overheating and too much wear through a race. Kota is great fun to drive in F124 and allows for some really good racing. This setup isn't as tailored towards performance as a true time trial setup would be. However, it will ensure you are still faster than the AI through the corners and you can keep up with them down that long straight. As always, let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with this setup, previous setups, and consider subscribing if you're enjoying these videos. For now guys, I will see you on track.